Ladies and gentlemen, while recent times have been incredibly difficult for us all, I can only begin to imagine how challenging it has been for young people and families to adapt. In particular, I'm thinking of those families who simply do not have the resources, such as online devices or even the internet, that are needed for effective homeschooling. Parents uh, have done an astonishing job in such trying circumstances, and to see teachers and schools going above and beyond for their pupils in response to this pandemic has been, in many instances, quite remarkable. From uh, finding creative ways to teach lessons remotely and even making sure the most vulnerable children do not go without meals, we all owe them a huge debt of gratitude. For many years now, I, I have been extremely proud to be the patron of the education charity Teach First, which recruits and trains some of the brightest graduates as energetic and committed teachers and leaders to work in the country's poorest areas. Their work to support schools to build a fair education for all, which also produces enhanced results, is more important now than ever. It will be all the more vital in the recovery ahead. As our schools begin to open again and the first students return to the classroom, their job will present further challenges, uh, helping children to get back on track with learning and supporting them to come to terms with all they have been through. Above all, and in these circumstances, I just wanted to express my heartfelt gratitude to everyone in Teach First for all they are doing to support the schools, teachers and pupils most affected by this pandemic. This work, transforming the futures of so many young people, could hardly be more important since teachers will surely be at the heart of the nation's recovery.